905, welcome back to the Chad Hasty Show News Talk KFYO. Thank you for tuning in today. Right now, we do get to talk about the 2020 election, the uh, race between President Trump and uh, Joe Biden, if Joe Biden knows exactly where he's at uh, in this point of the 2020 election and joining us on the phones. Trump 2020 Strategic Advisor for Coalitions, Boris Epstein, joining us here on the Chad Hasty Show. Boris, good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Very glad to be with you. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, great to have you on uh, the show. And, 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 and honestly, at a time where, uh, you know, Texas is, is making a few national headlines uh, as far as uh, CNN declaring Texas a purple state, a swing state, uh, that uh, just about uh, every single uh, poll out uh, within the last week show that Joe Biden is leading here in Texas. I don't put a lot of stock into that uh, right now. Where does the Trump campaign, uh, or how does the well, Trump campaign feel about that? Yeah, I'll tell you this. The state of Texas is a ruby red state. The state of Texas is not purple. The state of Texas is a state that supports this president and is going to support him again and vote for him overwhelmingly in uh, in November. And I'll tell you that this has the exact remnants of the crooked Hillary campaign when they thought that they were going to win every state from here to Timbuktu, but then they ended up losing the election. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm confident in the state of Texas. The president loves the state of Texas. We just had Ronnie Jackson, the former White House physician, win the Republican primary in the state of Texas, and he'll win the general there, too, for the congressional seat. So there's absolute confidence that President Trump, Vice President Pence, are going to be carrying the state of Texas on November 3rd. You know, it seems like these polls are uh, designed, especially early on, to depress voters and, and, you know, particularly Trump voters out there who, you know, maybe because not everyone is paying attention every single day uh, to to this race right now. Uh, And if you're just a casual voter, uh, you know, a a lot of these polls are, are meant to sway your opinion rather than inform you. Well, that's a very good, insightful point. I agree with you. The problem with most of the polls is that they are sampled Democrat plus, you know, five or ten. What does that mean in regular person language? That they expect, the polls expect, that there will be five or ten percent more Democrats voting than Republicans. Well, that's just not the case. Maybe in been the case in 08, maybe been the case in 12. But it's not the case with President Trump on the ballot. So these polls early on are, are effectively a tool of the left mainstream media, just as you said. We have internal polls of the Trump campaign, and those polls leave us very confident, not just in the state of Texas, but on all the actual battleground states. Because guess what? Texas is a state the president will carry. The president will also carry Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Florida, and others on his way to victory. Do do you, um, when when it comes to voter enthusiasm, um, and, and and the upcoming debates, which I still think Joe Biden will do everything he can not to participate uh, in the debates, despite what he has said publicly. Uh, do, do you think that the enthusiasm gap is still large between the president and Joe Biden supporters? It's unbelievably large. The the numbers show that gap to be somewhere between fifteen and over thirty percent. Wow. And the, also, the other statistics you have to look at are the primary voters. President Trump got, in some cases, double and triple the primary voters than Barack Obama did when he was running unopposed for president. President Trump got more voters in many states in the primaries than all the Democrats combined. So the enthusiasm of President Trump is off the charts. The enthusiasm for sleepy, creepy, plagiarist Joe Biden is all the way down low. What uh, what are some of the moves that the uh, Trump campaign is making right now? Uh, obviously, you know, campaigning looks a little bit different. The, 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 I'm sure the president wants to get out, hold more uh, events and rallies. He gets so fired up doing that. Uh, what 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 does the the campaign look like right now? Well, it's all about delivering the president's message, right? And about de- doing it in the time we have. I mean. You have to deal with the cards you were dealt, right? You have to live with those cards. So the president's going to continue to be out there. He has many events, both pres- you know, both in his capacity as president and also the campaign events. The president's going to continue to be out there, going to continue speaking to the American people, and going to continue relaying and making it clear that he is the leader we need. Look at this economy. We have a rocket ship economic rebound that we're experiencing right now. The S&P has already, the stock index has erased all of its 2020 losses. That is only possible due to the leadership of President Trump. We're going to continue to be making that case, making it clear every single day. 
from now till November 3rd. Boris Epstein, appreciate you joining us today. Uh, have uh, uh, good luck out there, and hopefully we'll uh, get to have you back on the show uh, pretty soon. Looking forward to it. God bless you, and God bless the state of Texas. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time.